All new at 530, saving birds injured at sea. That's the mission of one of the nation's largest wildlife centers, and it's based here in South Florida. But the South Florida Wildlife Center's work was nearly forced to shut down after losing its lease and a vital partnership. Well, tonight it's running strong and doing what it can to help birds and all forms of wildlife. CBS 4 Stead Scouten has more from Fort Lauderdale. Just let him go. Yep, just let him go. Pelicans and seabirds make up a good chunk of the patients here at the South Florida Wildlife Center. It started with a hook wound, so the hook gets in there, it kind of festers. Dr. Antonia Gardner explains nearly all of the pelicans in this enclosure are recovering from hook injuries, and they can be quite serious. This x-ray shows a hook deep inside this pelican. It's in my fingers. While the bird was under, vets were able to get the hook. Yes, right, right. yes, oh, I, I, heard it. It. I heard it. I heard it. The book is out. We can sort of just reach in there while they're asleep and take it out. It's usually a very non-invasive um, and non-painful procedure, and it really avoids us having to, you know, open them up and cut up, open their stomach and take out the hook. So this right here gives you an idea of what kind of hooks and lines are taken out of animals here at the South Florida Wildlife Center. The one I have in my hand, this is the latest one to add to their collection. Yeah, he's very weak, but still feisty. And then you have birds like this royal tern, Nico Frescatori found it with a hook in its wing. <laughs> he rushed him in for care. It looked like it was dying. It was like getting too much heat. It was, looked like it was going to pass out. So I lifted it up and got like comfortable with it and pulled a fishing hook out of the wing. Oh, here it is. There. Okay, that's not too bad. In many instances, it's best to let the experts remove the hooks, but in this case, the bird looks pretty good. About three quarters of the seabirds that come in are suffering from hook injuries. Much of this can be avoided by proper hook and line disposal. Still, this is a busy hospital. By volume, we are the largest uh, uh, trauma center in the United States for wildlife. Alessandra Medri runs the place. They literally have a new lease on life here, just as they were about to lose their lease and at the same same time lost their partnership with the Humane Society of the United States, Broward County renewed their lease and the center remained open as an independent wildlife hospital. We're hopeful, but we still need the help of the community because we are um, entirely uh, nonprofit and we rely solely on donations. A couple of these pelicans should be released relatively soon. Now, keep in mind, with the South Florida Wildlife Center being independent now, of course, they can use any kind of donations. If you'd like to find out more about what they do and how you can help, just go to our website, cbsmiami.com. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.